morning everyone um, still at Hog Lake and the storm's coming through so I'm just probably gonna hang out till it clears up but I wanted to talk for a minute about kind of um, my procedure when I go around to all these things and how I find places is I research I um, I basically just Google map the crap out of the places and every campground that pops up I'll research I'll you do reviews read other people's reviews because that helps you know what's going on sometimes people are drama queens and they whine about trains and highways especially when you're next to Indian reservations you can't have campgrounds in the middle of reservations you're lucky you even have campgrounds you know along the freeway and people whine about that which is ridiculous but anyway so that is one way I do it well the main way it's always good to have a hard map always especially a rec map um, recent one 2021 or whatever and um, yeah so that's one procedure I use and if you got to map out how much I don't want to drive her too much so I usually just go like less than 200 miles 300 miles and try to find the next campground and kind of, kind of thing so you just research and do mileage and get the best gas you can and when you can and um, see like I could stay here for 14 days if I wanted to I need to shower, I need to do clothes and all that stuff, so that's not really doable unless you have mobile homes. Mobile homes, you can stay here 14 days and you can get away with some stuff. But, um, yeah, because there's no porta potties or anything. There's always somebody coming through because it's public land, which is awesome. So, yeah, but um, that's why I just, for me, I just don't, I can't stay too long. Any, that's why I'm always moving around. Plus, you know, once you leave a place, you don't want to come back because, you know, rangers do come through, which is always good. And you want to have rangers come through and check, like, what, yesterday, the ra two rangers came through and they looked like they were, you know, ready to rock and roll if somebody got stupid, which is always nice. But, um, so there's another person looking for a campground or just checking out the, the sites. But anyway, so yeah. And so, but I was going to also mention that ladies, there's a lot of women that um, travel alone. And I've talked to them and met some people, ladies, and they're really wonderful and sweet. And I'm and I'm just gonna say for the record that I'm not a big gun advocate. I'm not against guns. I just, you know. And what I would also recommend is don't ever let people know whether you have guns or not, because just keep those assholes guessing. But anyway, but <clears throat> but as for ladies, snub nose thirty eight, um, lay them low, and. Get, get over it I'm just telling you you know I have sisters mom you know I want women to be safe and I you know I just think you should protect yourself and you know every woman should have a I think they should have a class in high school teaching young ladies how to shoot guns and give them the option because I'm telling you there's a there's assholes out there so not everybody so it's not always that bad, but I'm just saying that's one of my tips is to, yeah, definitely, you know, um, yeah. And that's, you know, sucks having to talk about stuff like that, but, you know, it's, it's not always an option. For me, I'm a guy, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll do what I got to do. I got a mall. A mall is something, is like basically, a mall is basically Thor's hammer with a accent edge you know and it busts up logs and it's heavy so if anybody messes with me I'll just knock them on the head with that but anyway <laughs> so that's my tip for the day google map get a hard map um always use your gas gauge make sure you're running your stuff right oh preventive maintenance for your vehicle always see I have a severe transmission leak and uh oil leak in my uh, car so I got to baby her and make sure she's always on the, you know, engine lights on now. So I got to figure that out. And, um, yeah, which means I'll probably just have to go get an oil change and so they can help do the computer system, which just kind of makes it easy on me. Oh, by the way, when I got pulled over, the cool thing about getting pulled over, and it's the only cool thing about it, was two days before when I got my oil changed, the gentleman noticed that my rear, um, blinker was out and my brake light was out on one side on one on the other so it was like basically that cop would have would have zinged me for both of those so that saved me some you know 
some coin. Plus, the night before getting pulled over, I, I renewed my insurance. Yeah, talk about. So yeah, it was like, you know, that was the universe going, slow down, and I did. I've been driving 60 ever since. <laughs> but anyway, um, love you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'm about to get rained on, so I'm just going to go hide in my shuttle. Anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Okay,